good morning. So I realized that some of the most popular videos I've done have been of bike reviews. So today's the day we're gonna finally review my new bike, Cat X by Cannondale. Good morning, hi. It's not a three wheel bike like that one. It's only two wheels and it's meant for cyclocross races. But it's also amazing for bike commuting to work or errands or whatever. And I'm gonna walk you through the bike. Good morning. Now in general you have the typical drop racing on the bars. You got the, the shifting disc brakes. water ball holder eyelets and I'm gonna throw it on some dirt here and show you that it's perfectly capable of riding some dirt trails so I have taken it on some of my mountain bike rides and it does amazing uphill downhill it gets a little bit shaky for me but overall I go faster so it's pretty awesome all right I'm gonna go ahead and prop it up against this tree over hell and kind of walk you through some of the features. So here's the disc brakes, they're mechanical, so they just have this wire pulling it, which makes it great for touring because then you're not gonna have worry about hydraulic lines and if that breaks. So that keeps it simple. Crank arms, we got aluminum on the um, frame there, a nice carbon fork uh, with a little bit, if you look at that, that angle on there, it's a little bit more relaxed than you'd see on a road bike. We got my Sal Atomico, of course, I love it. Even after my other one was stolen on my other bike, I've replaced it because I love this seat. All right, let's just do this. Let's throw this around, pal. Anyways, this bike runs about uh, 1,500 bucks at REI for like the latest version, whatever year you're watching this video. I think this is a 2015, 2016, not sure. Um, I got a size 58. The CAD bike, the CAD X or the cross bikes, they run a little bit uh, higher um, in size. So like even if you get a lower number, it fits a bigger rider. And I also like to ride my bike a little small. I'm just weird like that. I like that control. So you got uh, the big in the front and then the small in the front. So it's just two options there. So that's not the best for touring, but you got 11 in the back to help you there. We're dealing with Shimano 105s. So overall, great group set. It's not the Sora, it's not the Tiagra, it's the 105. And then it's not the Ultegra and it's not the Durace. So we're right in the middle there in terms of uh, performance on our components. And overall, I like it, it shifts really well. The front shifter here, we got the double clicks, uh, works very well. And then as a final note, I think I mentioned the price, 1500, if you get it uh, kind of new at like a bike shop. Um, if you're going 1400, get on sale a little bit, 1300. Hi, right, good morning. Hey, good you're morning. on YouTube, guys. Yay. We're doing a review. All right, so I think there was one last thing. The gears, sorry, I don't know the actual numbers on those. Uh, let's, I got the gator skins on it. They came with some um, simple uh, treaded tires, but uh, since I mainly do a lot of road, like this for work. Um, I swapped it out to some gator skins, which are awesome. Expect a product review on those eventually. Um, I do have a little bit of rubbing over here. You can see on the frame, it gets getting a little scratched. I put some duct tape or some electrical tape. I need to put some more just to prevent that. Um, obviously the pedals I swapped out to my ICs. Oh, the eyelets. Okay, so the rear, has some eyelets right there and then down there. So you can put a rack. That that just blows this bike up for me because as you know, I love to tour. I love to be able to throw a rack on there, throw my pannier bags and take my strap off. That allows me to go a lot more places with a rack. So I love the fact that it had eyelets and I was making sure I was getting a bike with eyelets. So overall great bike. Again, it does dirt very well. Uh, so it's on off-road. Well, that's the seg. Thanks for watching.